Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science with me, Vita. So this video is related to vitamins, coenzyme and its mode of reaction. So every year in case it question paper uh, related to this thing, one question is compulsory. Okay, so very important, very, very important. Definitely one question will raise in 2023 case examination also. Okay, so now without any further delay, let's get started. So here you can see vitamins, Okay, and uh, coenzymes, mode of reaction as well as deficiency. Anyhow, if people know, in vitamins, vitamin B complex are there, right? So in the B complex, there are many vitam vitamins are coming. That is B1, B2, B3, B5, uh, B6, B9, B12 like that. Okay, so every vitamin has their its own coenzymes, mode of reaction as well as deficiency. Okay, so first one, that is thiamine. Thiamine is a vitamin B1, which is also coming under the B complex, okay. So next, the coenzyme of this uh, thiamine vitamin that is thiamine pyrophosphate, very, very important, okay. And mode of reaction of this uh, thiamine is what? That is decarboxylation. Decarboxylation is the mode of reaction of this vitamin B1. So next, come to the deficiency. When there is a deficient of this uh, vitamin B1 takes place, which is leads to very, very this is okay so next come to the vitamin b2 that is riboflavin the name is also very very important okay and coenzyme of this riboflavin vitamin is what that is fmn and also fad plus okay so next come to the mode of reaction so redox reaction takes place in the case of vitamin b2 that is riboflavin so next come to the deficiency that is chylosis Chylosis is nothing but a small crack takes place in the mouth. Okay, there is a mouth uh, space is there, right? So in this place, a small crack takes place. That one we call as a chylosis. Okay, so which is uh, takes place when there is a deficiency of B2 in our body. So next come to the <clears throat> vitamin B3, that is niacin. So the coenzyme of this uh, niacin vitamin is NAD plus and also NADP plus, nicotinamide di. Nucleotide. Okay, so next come to the mode of reaction that is redox reaction. So here also just similar like B2 in B3 also redox reaction takes place. So next come to the deficiency here, pellagra takes place. So pellagra is a uh, deficient uh, when there is a niacin deficiency takes place. So which is leads to the 3D. So here 3D means so here uh, one is dermatitis. Okay. So next is the depression, then diarrhea, at last death. Okay, so that's why the symptoms of the pellagra we call as a 3D. 3D is nothing but dermatitis, depression and also diarrhea. So at last, uh, if this uh, deficiency will increase, that will lead to the death of a person. Okay, so next come to the uh, vitamin B5, that is pantothenic acid. So, so the coenzyme of this pantothenic acid is what that is acyl CoA. CoA is thing but what that is coenzyme A. Okay. So next come to the mode of reaction. So in this vitamin B5 acylation takes place. It is transfer of acyl group is there, right? That one we call as acylation. So in the case of vitamin B5 acylation takes place. So when come to the deficiency, that is hypertension. When there is a deficiency of vitamin B5 which is leads to hypertension or high BP, okay? So next vitamin is vitamin B6, that is pyridoxine. And the coenzyme of this vitamin B6 is pyridoxal phosphate. And mode of reaction is what? That is transamylation. So here, the transfer of amino group takes place, okay? So amino group from uh, one reaction to another reaction, amino group transfer takes place. So that reaction we call as a transamination. So this is takes place in the case of vitamin B6, okay? So next come to the deficiency here, depression, convulsion, and also confusion. So convulsion means a sudden movement of the muscles, okay? So, so these three symptoms takes place in the case of deficiency of vitamin B6, that is pyridoxine, okay? So next come to the uh, vitamin B7, that is biotin. And coenzyme of this vitamin B7 is biotin itself, then mode of reaction is what that is carboxylation, the addition of 
carbon dioxide or carbon group okay carbon dioxide that one we call as a carboxylation and when come to the deficiency of this uh, vitamin b7 rashes around the eyebrows uh, fatigue okay so this uh, takes place when there is a deficiency of uh, vitamin b7 takes place in our body okay so next come to the vitamin b9 that is folic acid and the co enzyme of this uh, vitamin b9 is tetrahydrofolate or else thf okay and when come to the mode of reaction here one carbon transfer takes place okay that is takes place in the case of uh, vitamin b9 and deficiency that is megaloblastic anemia that is a decrease in the level of red blood cells takes place in the case of deficiency of folic acid okay so next come to the cobalamin that is vitamin b12 very very important sometimes they ask what is the uh, name of vitamin b12 that is cobalamin uh, usually in the match the following these type of questions will ask okay so next coenzyme of this vitamin b12 that is 5 deoxy adenosine cobalamin okay so next the mode of reaction is what that is intramolecular rearrangement takes place in the case of vitamin b12 okay so next is the deficiency so when there is a deficiency of vitamin b12 takes place that will leads to pernicious anemia that is decrease in the count of red blood cells okay so next the last vitamin that is vitamin c the another name of vitamin c is what that is ascorbic acid so vitamin c from where this vitamin c will come that is from citrus fruits okay so here the coenzyme is what that is ascorbic acid only next come to the mode of reaction here hydroxylation takes place okay addition of hydroxyl group so next come to the deficiency that is scurvy when there is a deficiency of vitamin c takes place which is leads to the scurvy disease okay so this chart is very 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 important okay so definitely there will be one question from this chart the vitamins its coenzyme or else mode of reactions deficiency everything is very very important okay just go through this slide that's more than enough for related to this vitamins thing okay so i think i hope it's clear if any doubts uh, let me know in the comment box so thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos